Hello MechWarriors, how's it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing the modded series with yet another and all the companion mods and I want to go for heavy mechs today guys. We are looking for bigger, better stuff because right now we can see, can you see? I'm like right behind here. Um, yeah, we have a lot of light mechs. We have an urban mech, we have a locust, we have a panther and a bullfound and all of the goodies but I don't want them. So I want to get the big boys. And uh, let's see if we can find them somewhere, somehow, right? So everything is repaired already, uh, or being repaired. It's not done yet. And we have a raid tier 46. This is a perfect way to get things done, to get things from the battlefield. So we're going to take the salvage with us and hope that we can get some goodies out of here. All of the good pilots are here. Seems like it. Uh, wait, Lieutenant Stetton, 39. Don't we have somebody better than you? Like an elite pilot, maybe? You're resting for three days. Sure. I'm gonna take you then. Um... Yeah. Let's go. Payday. Let's go. Oh, wait. That's you already. Uh, uh-huh. You're at bay number three. Got it. Understood. I'm gonna take you. And that's fine. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to get Captain Lara over here again. Because we have actually yeah. something like affinity. Uh, you can see it down there. We have negative 10% sensor range. Uh, because she is not really good with the fire starter yet, but she will get there. Um, Baradula's Romo, you can see, is negative 5 only. So we are getting into our zero range at some point, and then we are getting into the benefits if we train a bit more with the Phoenix Hawk. So you should always try to keep the same pilots on the same mechs in order to get the efficiency up and have a good time on the battlefield. That's the plan. So... Let's go ahead and raid something. Hopefully we are not getting shot to pieces. It might happen. Ooh. Ooh, that's big. That's a huge map. Well. Well, well, well. It's a very clustered map as well. Mm. I'm not really happy with that, but let's see. I think I want to make quick work with the base on the other side of the battlefield. So we're going to use our jump jazz to get up here. Uh, and even higher. Oh, boy. And we are doing an up and over. <laughs> Almost got him. Yeah, we should probably stay on the VTOLs for the moment. Why, but almost. One down. Almost got him. And he's down. Perfect. So, the idea being that I'm going to take these tanks really quick. Uh, and then we're going to continue to the next position where we have to destroy things. Holy crap. That is so much at once here. But it's mostly turrets and another wave of VTOLs. Alright, let's, let's try to hit things. The good news is our AI pilots are actually able to follow up. And laser beams. Not that thing. Not that thing. Arch laser for the win. There we go. One more guy right behind us. It's crazy how many they got. Wow. It's like we are on a shooting range. Ooh, and I should probably preserve some ammunition for my SRMs. Urban Mac, help me out, guys. There's an Irby shooting me. He's angry. It's another Irby. Uh-oh. It's his big brother. SRM carrier as well. We'll take him out. Quick, quick. This is way too much. Too much for me alone, that is. That AC-10 is tearing me apart. I don't want to be here. Carrier is still alive. So, small laser turret. I don't really care about that. Mm-hmm. Go for night vision so we can see him a little bit better. And then we die. We dive back to cover a getting headshot. Come on, Irby, get wrecked. I'm gonna disengage from this. Guys, where's the attack? We need it right now. Stuck. Stuck, eating the damage completely. Yeah, we got the AC-10 off the board. That's good. It's crazy that an urban mech is an actual danger, right? Alright, there we go. It's better. It might be. But there's the other Irby and he's angry. We got one of his auto cannons already. Maybe we should stay on the other arm to take the other one out as well. I see. Where's the damage? I need it now. 
Huh? Kirby is down. Perfect. So, that's a crap ton of tanks. I don't want that. So we're gonna take him down. One. Two. Perfect. Turret with AC2s. Be gone. Turret with medium lasers. Be gone. And now we go for the tanks. Wow. So, that was two out of five. My mech is already red in some components. But critical as in structure is showing, but still red on armor. Crazy. Well, we took the mission to get some goodies. Let's see how many goodies we get and what they, you know, which form they come. So far, we only got urban max salvage. Is this the only one? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. I think we're gonna make another up and over thing here. And soft landing as much as possible. Here we go. Very nice. So my plan is to stay a little way, stay a little bit away from the base so that we don't trigger the enemy. Big draws. Never mind. It's on. Maybe we can lure them towards us. Can we? We have a jump jet. Might as well use it. Ah! He's not being like a boss. I don't like that playstyle, dudes. I really don't. I know it's viable. That's an invisible wall. We cannot hit the turret. On me, guys. On me. I need you. With me. So, where to go? I want the quick draw to come to us. Again, damage over time. It's quite good. But again, playing the Pop-Tart game is kind of lame, isn't it? Get up. Refueling the jump jets. Jumping up again. Okay, I can go for the tanks, I guess. SRM carrier again. Guys are scurry. Not anymore. A little bit too low. Let's just keep... Holy crap. There they are. Let's just keep it up with the large laser. Uh, yeah, they have they have a patrol now. Let's go ahead and help out here. Yeah, the fight is the... Ah, the fiercest. Arisan. Alright. So, did we get the quick draw or did we not get the quick draw? Also, again, take too much time. Gives us more and more patrols. And these guys will wreck us. So I guess we have to go in. You can do that. I'm gonna go for the tanks. Hmm. Down goes that guy. Come on, guys. You have a job. Do it. Where's the carrier? There's still one alive. This one. Got him. I got hit on leg though. My leg doesn't look great. In behind you, Commander. Come on, friends, help me out. Here are tanks. And there's a party on somewhere. That's it. Okay, disengaging. Waiting for my people to get the pathing right. We're not quite done. Jumping. And we are low on SRM ammo. Damn. damn, damn, damn. We got friends. Yeah, let's go, guys. Come on. Move in. Do your job. We have the party song. There it is. Still not... What? What's going on here? Come on, party song. Gone. Crazy. My right arm is about to fall. Mm, my left leg as well. Not good. But hey, let's finish it. Really? What the hell is shooting me? Oh god, there's a lot of things. It's kind of hoping that my friends would attract some more fire, but they are not. Alright. I played a bit more conservatively now. Just a bit. 
Now that body's on. Too high. Come on. Get him down. It's incredible. AC-20 burst fire, hunchback! Let's go, guys! Oh, no. No, no, no. Not like this. Gonna take him. Ammo depleted. Last shot for the missiles. We need to find an ammo... Ammo bin somewhere. Under weapon. Okay. The hunch is off. While we're waiting for the hunchback to show up again, I think I'm gonna destroy the objective. I think he's still shooting us with an autocannon. But yeah, let's go. Let's move. Enemy That's this guy. Here. Got it. So I, I think at this point of the game, I'm going to just finish the objectives and then we are running the hell away. Focus target carrier, another hunchy. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Can take those. We need more ammo at this point. Ooh, gets a lot. We also jammed. Why? Oh, that's why. Oh no, oh no, right into the thick of it. I, I think we are committed now. Let's go. Up and over. Getting the objectives done. And then we are running the hell away. Where's the freaking beetle? Important. So, right arm. I'm about to lose my two medium lasers that I still have. I can just go now, and I will. Another Igor. Yeah. Let's run! Oh no. Oh no. Don't lose the lag, that's important. Where's the freaking dropship, Brianna? I need it! Ah! Lost the lasers! I shouldn't. I shouldn't punch him. I should shoot him. Okay. So, here we go. Auto cannon 2 on an Igor. And I think we can take him. The other guys are also not looking great anymore. So, we're just gonna run away. But yeah, there are some parts that we could possibly take with us. Single large laser to rule them all. Get out of here. Yeah, it's fine. It is fine. Damage report. It's not gonna be good. I've seen a lot of damage on my friends as well. I'm gonna take a quick draw part or two. This is a very good PPC. And we could take more Hunchies. Oh, that's difficult. Two more Hunchback parts and then one more later. Build a Hunchy. I wanted a Ballistic build and that is a very good Ballistic carrier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna settle with that for the moment. Then there's one more pick. Is there anything we need to pick from four Cantina missions? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so three picks is what we got. I'm gonna take an Urban Mech part and an AMS. Damn. Cicada is fine. You lost an arm, but that's okay. You used your shield arm like a boss. And the fire starter also seems to be fine. So a bit of fatigue, and that's all. Yeah, man. With these missions... We are running out of ammo, we are running out of resources quite a lot. And keep in mind, guys, our Centurion runs an XL engine. That is a side torso that's open and orange. We got lucky here. We got really lucky. But anyway. Um. There's a campaign mission. I need to actually go to a travel hub. Because I want to do my repairs there. I believe it makes sense, it's worth. And I want to adjust some of my rare Shadowhawks. A great death. I wish I could pick it up. It's such a beautiful mech. Oh, no. Let's take a look at this. Oh, the hero mechs. They have some hero quirks as well. Interesting. That makes them very uh, valuable on top of what they also bring to the battlefield. So it has battle fist. I think this is a, raw, a regular Shadowhawk quirk. This is 25% more melee damage. Nice. We have Rugged. It's also a Shadowhawk quirk. Uh, it reduces the upkeep by 50%. Nice. And it has great death. Weapon cooldown modifier, 20%. Insane. Projectile speed for ballistics, 10%. Ballistic cooldown, another negative 10. So negative 30. 
Energy optimal range modifier 10% and max range modifier 10%. And endurance. Ugh. Armor bonuses are great. Look at all of this, guys. This is insanely good. I want to have this 55 tonner. It's such a beauty. How do we make this happen? Can we make this happen? How do we squeeze 11 million out of our <laughs> inventory? I don't think we're gonna make this happen. XL engine double heat sinks. That's the most important, uh, the most expensive parts as well. Now, let's see. We're gonna sell some mechs. Like a wolfhound. Panther. Okay, we're gonna sell the panther. If we also sell the wolfie and the Irby, we're gonna get another three and a half. And sell the locust for four and a half now. We're getting to ten. We can sell individual parts as well, correct? So what if... Give me a moment. We go to salvage assembly. Say goodbye to the assassin. Say goodbye to the generous, the... I want to try this. Let's go. Sell salvage. Oh god, herbies are not worth anything. <laughs> Alright, there's a quick draw. I'm gonna keep that. I want to keep the phoenix as well, but the spider can go. Arts, boom. Javelins, be gone. Same here. Sell Jav. Uh, sell Jenner. Hurts me to say, but I don't want them anymore. I want to keep the Griff. I want to keep the Hanchis. I want to not keep the Hatchet, man. I don't think it's good. There's melee specialization, but I don't know what it is. I cannot hover over this. Hmm. It's a 45 tonner. Let's not go for that. We have a bunch more Centurion parts. There's a Commando as well. Assassin can go. So, these would be great additions to my overall lands. I'm gonna sell the Wolfie as is with everything. Locust, gun, Kirby. You're running a powered sensor. Probably want that. Okay, start the work. Five days. Can we get the Shadowhawk? I mean, technically, we can also run, uh, drop one of our mechs here. Maybe the Firestarter, even. Uh, in order to get more money and then have four mechs ready. Okay, but first of all, I'm gonna repair this. Maybe I shouldn't, actually. I sell it, why would I? Stop this real quick. I'm gonna wait five days until Irby is ready. One second. Timeline. Advance. Next event. Boom. So, back to Battle Max. Irby can and should go. Correct? Yes, so. We can sell it with everything inside. I don't really care about it. Another million Siebels. We are at 12. What does the Firestarter sell for? I'm getting there. How much repair do we have to make here happen? It's okay. Do it up. How much do we have to repair here? Not a lot. Takes a bit of money though, because there was a lot of armor damage. So, 12 million sea bills is what we have. If we sell the fire starter, we are at 14 million sea bills, roughly. Uh, the next financial report is due in one day, so we gotta keep in mind that that is an issue. But we still have equipment to sell. Like this Fusion Core 320. This is a big one. We don't need it, do we? No. Sold. Um, how about sensor? It gives us money else do we have? Weapon systems. Online. Sensors. Online. Yada yada. Heavy rifles I think are not really good here. They bring a good chunk of... chunk of value. LRM 10s. Tier 0. I don't care about that. LRM 20? Tier 3? Honestly? Actually we can sell the tier 1. For a pretty good amount as well. Ooh, guys, I, I guess we are getting there. Yeah, look at all the trash that we've collected. We can just get rid of it. I think this is it. Auto Cannon 2. I mean, Tier 1. 
Okay, I think... You know what? This is it. I'm going to sell my fire starter now. Goodbye. And hello. Oh god, I'm excited. We're gonna take the Great Death. Yes, give it to me. Mm. We have a Shadowhawk. Holy macaroni. And it's such a beauty, man. Uh, Shadowhawk, one of my absolute favorite medium mechs. Hands down. Absolutely. And I'm so happy that we got the XL variant of it. With an amazing amount of cooling. Four medium lasers. Double heat sinks, jump jets, and auto cannon 10, baby. Those are in the legs, please. Okay. And I don't think I'm gonna run an LRM here. I think this is short range missiles. Or. Uh, do we drop the jump jets? We need them. We even need this double heat sink. We have a kit. That's 10 already. An additional one, so 11. Uh, with the medium lasers, maybe, maybe, maybe. XL engine, armor is up already, so we don't have to care about that too much. Would love to have a bit more leg damage, but at the same time, we have extra structure. Everywhere but on the head, so our head, ex our head is exposed. We need to armor that up completely. Which means... Ah, crap, crap, crap. We drop the heatsink. Armor up the legs as well. Yeah, that's it. So, the thing is, uh, we have two missile points. One in the head, one on the side torso, and we have one bin of SRM ammo, which is way too much for a single SRM2, and one bin of LRM ammo, which is way too much for an LRM5. So, we're gonna streamline that. This is going to go as well. And now is the question. Do we go both LRM5, or do we go both SRM? Question. Oh, and yeah. Should armor up that as well. Uh, 48 to 48. That seems good. Now we have one baton. SRM ammo goes to the leg as well. Jump jets. Three of them. This might be a little low on the jets, honestly. Gives us a bit of baseline mobility, but it's not as jumpy as the Phoenix Hawk is. Maybe this guy is earthbound. Another double. Let's keep it here. Alright, we're gonna make it earthbound. Mm, and I kind of want to get these LRMs online, I believe. Having something that we can shoot indirectly seems good. So, ammo. And maybe a heat bank, if there is one. And then we are good to go. One bit of ammo is good enough for basically an LRM-10. Yeah, we have one and a half tons left over. That's the thing. Tons of autocannon 10 ammo. Is there anything on the market? Double bin. Better than a sing two single bins. Okay. Do it like this. Double bin goes here. Half a ton here. So we have definitely enough ammo for our autocannon. That thing will never run dry. Uh, the other question again. Do we need more cooling? Yes or no? Or do we maybe... We could put a heat bank in there. Maybe not, because it's two tons instead of one. And it's a heat sink. Guys, this is our great death. I think I want to run it like that. We have some LRMs that we can fire at flyers and, and shoot indirectly. These might be replaced with SRMs later. I'm not entirely sure about it yet. But um, let's start the build. Let's try it out and let's hope that we are not running bankrupt. Ooh. We need more money, so let's sell some more things. Auto cannon fives. Eh. Maybe? Sure. I am not. I drop the good flamers. Make a lasers. LRM 10 tier 1. I don't want to drop the 20s. Yeah, really good. Tier 3. Those As soon as we get a heavy mech, uh, like an archer that can run those, I will run those. Totally. Totally. Um, I'm thinking right now. I think I'm going to drop the auto cannons. So... Should be enough. Okay. So everything is working. Um, nobody here that we want to pick up. So let's go ahead and seek some trouble with our new medium mech. And we're going to take the high priority mission. Legend of the Castro Lancers. Ah, it's that one. Yeah, I'm not taking that. It's too heavy for us. 
It's way too heavy. We're not... We're getting wrecked if we do that. Let's go for the targeted kill and try our, our hawk out. Also, I need to read up on it again. Is it regular autocannon quirk? Or is it... Uh, autocannon 10? The... Shadowhawk quirk here. Great death. It's ballistic. It's all ballistic. So I could have gone with an autocannon 5 instead of the 10. We need to figure out if this is good. Um, but I think the autocannon 5 would be a great way to deal damage to flyers. It has more range and a higher cadence. We can shoot more often. Um, and quicker, that is. So I think the 5 might be the, the better tool. Targeted kill on battlefield. Let's go for the targeted kill first. Money! The mission Bam. area is under heavy weather warning. It's going uh -huh. to affect I want to run the hawk. And, and I want to run... Mm, Phoenix Hawk here. And this is going to be... Burnout, Romo. Yeah. Again, we want to grind those uh, affinities. And I think you're quite good with ballistics. So I want to put you here, probably. But Captain Lara is better with ballistics. Right now. Plus one. Doesn't matter, right? Nah, it's fine. Let's go. Shadowhawk, baby. Mm. I'm excited. Oh, oh, we also need weapon groups. And we could make it a brawler as well if we wanted to. We get 25% more damage thanks to the battle fists. And if we put some melee weapons on the mech, then um, we might be able to chop some things down. This group has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. So. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. I think this is it. No, it's not. Ah, wh where are we? Wow. What the hell is going on? Is it? No, it cannot be. Nope. Cannot be. Ah, it's this. Yes, now I have the left-right combo. All right, got it. You got it out. How do we get over this? We don't have jumps, so we need to move around. Jump jets out, didn't I? That's a crazy biome. I mean, look at all of this. Can we destroy things here? I don't think we can destroy these structures. But hey, anyway. My plan is to... Maybe go to the right and ignore the left completely. How are we supposed to get there, though? Can we run through this? Ah, uh, we can barely move past it. And we're stuck. Okay, never mind. Seriously, how are we supposed to get to the point where we are supposed to go? Huh? Yeah, helicopter. No. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Igor. Okay. Got some hits in. Hey, this guy, I need to relearn the mobility, is not as uh, mobile as the... What's it called? Phoenix Hawk is. Upper Torso is way slower. Got him, though. Alright, we got him. One more. And the missiles. It's good to have them, honestly. It's good to have them. So, let's keep going. Let's try to break through here and get into the zone. Man, I really hope that we can get up this biome. I don't like it at all. I want to get this done quickly so we can play the other mission. Having no overview is it's hard. And yeah, I mean, this is war, right? The rain is your biggest enemy sometimes. And I think it, it matters. It should matter. But that doesn't mean that I have to like Israel, it. Commander. Because of this. Uh-huh. Hey, the Centurion made it. And the other guys get it done as well. Do I care? Here they come. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Yeah, AI and terrain. It's not a good combo. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. It's another Shadow Arc. Do I need to learn the velocity of this autocannon? Okay. Wow, this is way off. I think I don't like the uh, the velocity of this autocannon 10. I think a 5 would be better here. 
Uh -huh. I don't see anything. I, I have no idea what's going on. All the smoke in the world. <laughs> and yet again, those shots. I think I hit something! Salts are flying. Holy crap. Come on, stay on the hawk, guys. I'm gonna take care of the tanks. Good news is our heat management is fine. Bad news is my mech is getting wrecked. What the hell? Come on, velocity. That's not real. Alright. Again, it's a learning thing. I need to get the hang of it, and then be, everything will be fine. But until we get there, I better practice aiming. So, first base done. Nobody's here. Let's move up to the north. Exactly. It's in a crater, um, which is probably good for us. Hard to hit. Pretty happy that I can rely on my missiles, though. That's great. It's a hit. It's another patrol, so we should take a look into the sky just before we die. Because there might be some VTOLs approaching, and right now we are in territory where they bring Igors, big boys, the big guns. Be nice if the enemies would come from there. Oh! Oh, ask and you'll receive. Almost. Downed him! Perfect, guys! That's great. I'm happy about my friends. Okay, that's a hit. It doesn't kill a VTOL in one go. Ah, not good. Okay, we got him in the end. An auto cannon 10 shot doesn't destroy a VTOL like a warrior unit in one go. I think it was a warrior. So one of the smaller ones. As a result, this auto cannon is not exactly what I want. Okay. So far, so good. Maybe night vision is better here, right? <laughs> Let's go with this. Eat? Uh, not so much. Let's go night. 900 meters. We should know if our enemies are there. Our targets are here. Pressure. I'll take it. Thank you. Stock up on a little bit of ammo. As well as items. There we go. Righty. Good. Our ammunition can be restocked. Uh probably have to do this. Okay. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna not break our stride. Let's move up. And I said earlier that they are in a bowl, but they are not. They are on the high ground. So we move to the right side to get some high ground as well. It's kind of important in a scenario like this. I wanna know what's coming, I wanna see. That's perfect, Rihanna. Alright, let's go. What is it? I'll be fighting heavy, Max. There they are. That's a quick draw. I like this position. We're not exposing our mech a lot. As a result, we'll take less return fire. They can fly! Who would have thought that? Alright, pull back. Don't need to go all in. Also, Phoenix Hawk, be careful. On the commander target. This is that took care of it. Okay. Stay on the target that is damaged, but if you don't have a good alternative, we go for this guy. And right side first, because this is where the auto cannon sits. And we want to take it down. Okay. Movie is very damaged as well, and something is standing right. It's another quick draw, right? Ammo low. The center. So the cool thing about this Shadowhawk is that it has four energy hard points for laser weapons. And do this. Didn't quite get him. He's still dangerous. He's still there. 
Uh, this guy is stuck, so we're gonna... Gonna just take him, right? Ammo depleted, that's the LRM's gone. Okay, I'm pulling back at this point. The good news is that most of my enemies are very damaged and they lost a lot of components already. Let's take him down. Good. Next up is the other quick draw 5A. Because it seems nasty. Right. But almost. Uh, flee is fine. Ow. That guy is down. And we are done. We go. Holy crap. Um, we go, right? Push back. Urban mech. Take the Hunchy down. Kind of important. And I don't see any of these uh, artillery um, shells coming down. So we need to go for regular vision again. That's the laser, but that's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. You guys get Irby. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. Pretty cool thing. We're running 81 kph on the Shadowhawk. Quite solid speed. I like this. It's, I think, the perfect combo of uh, having firepower and still getting... Oh, say, having good mobility, but not going all in with mobility, so we also have enough weight to uh, put firepower into the mech. Kirby uh, is without AC now. Perfect. How do we get there? I have to go the long way around, it seems. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take the Phoenix Hawk. And we're gonna disengage with jump jets. That's it. Come on, guys. You can take him. Let's go. Good. Whoa, follow me. That was a great mission. I was having fun with that. Uh, Shadowhawk is an absolutely fine mech to run. And um, I still believe the IC5 might be better. Maybe even the Burst Fire variant, if we can get it. I'm stuck. Oh no. Okay. Brianna! Bring me home! Yeah. <laughs> we made it! Oh, that jump! I would love to take the recovery thing, but I cannot. Wait, we still acquired it, right? Because it was in our drop zone. No, it doesn't show up. Okay, fine. Holy crap, that jump. Did you see it? Also, we are getting closer to a quick draw. And a Shadowhawk. Another Shadowhawk would be so cool, I think. Dropping the Cicada is a good idea. Yeah, we'll take the mechs. Why not? None of these items really matter yet. Therefore, it is mech salvage. Partial mech salvage. Holy crap, guys. That Shadowhawk. Yeah, I mean, it has options. I need to figure out what to do with it, but I kind of got the hang of the AC fire in the late game. So maybe I just need to practice a little, little bit more and I should be fine. Anyway, that has been it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.